Good morning, traders. Well, Asian indices are looking to open flat following the lead from Wall Street. Uh, Tuesday session in, on Wall Street ultimately saw little change uh, in the major US indexes with an impressive round trip that initially saw high opening a strong Chinese GDP, saw European indexes rally, um, only to sell off as hawkish Fed speaker and mixed earnings results. Uh, before recovering somewhat later in the session to, to finish modestly lower, with only the S&P 500 managing to eke out again. Um, talking of round trips, Netflix stock price dumped and pumped in a wild ride after market hours uh, after reporting earnings. Netflix reported a revenue miss, but a beat on earnings per share and, and a surge in free cash flow, which saw the initial 10% sell-off quickly retrace. Um, with little on the calendar of importance as far as US data was concerned, all eyes were on a group of Fed speakers for clues to the FOMC May meeting result. Uh, markets currently pricing in around an 80% chance of a 25 basis point hike there. Um, first up was Bostic, who reiterated that he expects one or more rate hikes. Uh, and noted that the economy still has a lot of momentum and inflation is still too high. Um, then we had Bullard, who added that not much clear progress has been made on inflation, uh, and it means rates need to continue to rise. Uh, unsurprisingly, this, this hawkishness saw equities take a dive uh, as markets repriced in red Fed rate hike trajectory going forward. In FX markets, uh, despite the Fed rhetoric, the US dollar was weaker on the session. US dollar index found resistance at its upper trend line and dipped below 102. Uh, Euro US benefited from the weaker dollar and pushed towards that psychological 110 level. Uh, also helped from comments from Goldman Sachs, which raised its Eurozone terminal rate forecast to 3.75% from the previous 3.5%. Uh, GBP USD cable lifted after strong wage data supported hawkish expectations ahead of today's UK CPI. Um, Aussie and Kiwi benefited from the, the stronger than expected Chinese GDP figures and, and a US dollar sell-off. Um, both of them rallying quite heavily in the session with the Aussie dollar being the outperformer. Gold also rallied on the day, retook the 2000 US dollar an ounce level. Um, there was a bit of push and shove around that 2000 though between the bulls and the bears uh, before ultimately the bears, uh, the, sorry, the bulls won out. Um, economic announcements today, the main risk event will be the UK CPI figure. Um, after yesterday's strong wage growth figure, the expectations are to the hawkish side, so some uh, a volatility in the pound uh, could be expected there.